Hello, my name is Sarah Milan. I'm from Canada, New Jersey, born and raised. Um, I was going to tell you a little bit about myself, but you know, they told my story, so. But I just want to say I'm kind of pissed off because right now, I don't care what goes on in Russia or China. We got enough issues here that they need to yeah. address. Um, I don't know about if, it, if a lot of people know about people that have felonies. It disqualifies them from education, housing, shelters. They have no other means of getting any kind of help. And I was one of those. Um, at the age of 13, I was put out by my parents. By 22, I had a full-blown parent addiction to kids that I had to give up because I could no longer take care of them. And for about 10 years, I ran the streets of Canada, being homeless, and I ran into people that had mental health, that had felonies like I had, that just couldn't survive, didn't have education, couldn't read or write. So it's kind of hard to get a job if you can't fill out an application. Um, when I was 37 years old, I ran into RHD. I'm through better state of my life because they helped me with housing, but most of all, they helped me with getting my self-respect back that I had lost in my addiction. Um, today, I'm able to take a shower, I'm able to eat, but most of all, I'm able to sleep safe without being raped, beat up, abused, and I'm hoping that it doesn't end, how it doesn't end, because you guys are going to kill a lot of good people by putting them back out on the streets. What's going to happen to us if we lose our housing? Most of us are going to go back to addiction because the streets of Canada are rough out there. And we're not going to survive out there. So by you guys taking our housing, what's going to happen to us? I don't understand how you have billions of dollars for research in space, but you can't feed the poor, you can't get housing for us. I'm confused about that. But most of all, I just want to say thank you for RHD and it basically saved my life.